The iPad is a productivity powerhouse, especially if you start taking advantage of some of its inbuilt features to quickly get to the apps you need. With the iPad's ability to multitask, you can run multiple applications to work faster and more efficiently. Fantastic humans, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. We hope 2022 will be a fabulous year for you and your loved ones. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. Split View lets you use two apps at once. You can have your research document open on one side and take notes in a different app on the other side. It works better on bigger iPad Pros though, because you can use the two apps without needing to zoom in. When working in an app, tap the three dots icon on the middle top of your screen to split view. Pick any app you want from the homepage or app library. You can also search for an app you need. Searching works faster than scrolling through all your iPad apps. Drag the current open window to the side of your screen depending on the side you want your new application to be. The dock at the bottom of your iPad screen houses frequently used apps, so you can access them from any app. Split View allows you to drag and drop several items across different applications, which is faster than copying and pasting. That would require several steps in both applications. You can quickly copy the following items across different apps. Images, handwritten notes, text, documents, and web links. Split view supports two percentage ratios, 25 to 75, or you can just split it right in the middle 50-50. Replacing apps in split view is also very simple. You can either close the split view to find a new application, or simply drag down the application you no longer need. Any app on your dock can replace either window with a simple gesture. Slide over opens in small floating windows, which you can use without interfering with background applications. It is convenient for quick referencing to information in app applications. It is the third option on the three dots icon at the top of your screen. Opening slide over this way has one problem. The currently opened window becomes the slide over window. It would be better if the iPad opened the new window in slide over while keeping the current app in the background. A better way to open an app in slide over is from the dock because you have more control over which app should be in slide over. You also decide the side of the screen you want it on. Your windows can either be on the right or left side of your iPad screen. You can quickly navigate through the windows at the bottom here or see all the applications you have opened in slide over. When typing in a slide over window, the keyboard tends to cover your whole screen, which can be distracting. You can resize the keyboard to make it smaller so it fits just the slide over window, leaving your screen free to continue using the background application. Like with Split View, you can drag and drop items across applications from slide over to your background app. You can quickly view all your open apps to switch between them. Swiping up takes you to the home page, but if you swipe and hold for a second, you can access the app switcher without going to the home page. You can also pinch your screen with the five finger gesture. This window displays all the open instances of all the applications you have open on your iPad. That is all split views and slide overs, which is fantastic. You can also create and change split views as well as slide overs. It lets you organize your multiple instances faster.
You can quickly switch between apps and windows by swiping the bar at the bottom of your screen. For a smaller iPad without the bar, you can still swipe at the bottom of the screen, though the motion is slightly different. You have the option to use the four finger gesture, which we feel is not very convenient. The single finger gestures are easier to use and more intuitive. If you open an app that has two or more windows open, a shelf appears at the bottom of your iPad screen with thumbnails of the app's open windows. In case the window you want is already open, it helps to check the shelf first. The center window is the worst multitasking feature in iPadOS 15. It's not well thought out and just makes your workflow cumbersome. It only works if you're already using the app and feels like you're opening an already open application again. It works with Apple Notes. Mail. It's just an unnecessary extra step that adds little to no value to your workflow. Picture in Picture is a mode for playing videos while performing other tasks, provided you're using Apple TV or Documents by Riddle. You can move the video to any corner of your iPad. You can also temporarily hide the video. Sadly, this feature is not supported by many popular video players. Doesn't work for YouTube, VLC, not even for photos. So let's hope more applications will start supporting this. Did we leave out anything? What is your favorite multitasking feature on iPad? Do tell. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Once again, Happy New Year, fantastic humans. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.